beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to the video. In this video we'll be looking at the Bowl G connectors for use with the ITAP counter pressure bottle fillers. So let's get started. Going back to January 2021 I released a video that showed and demonstrated the Bowl ITAP counter pressure bottle fillers, which have certainly proven to be popular choices for homebrewers worldwide due to their robust design and ease of use for the price point. The G connectors are available in two sizes, this one is of course the smallest. The G connector is simply inserted into the ITAP's connection clamp and allows beer to be served. Despite having the appearance of polished stainless steel, these are actually constructed using food grade brass. Now, I am far from an expert on metals, but I have learned that brass has some advantages over stainless steel in two very relevant key areas. The first being that brass in general is more corrosion resistant and that it has a better thermal conductivity, meaning that the faucet will cool down quicker, leading to less foam in pores faster. You will also know that these have a flow control lever fitted, which whilst not being a full solution will certainly help with tweaking the flow. Also here at the top of the G connector is a selection that actually makes this compatible for ITAP clamp blocks for crown caps and also pet bottles. This is quickly and easily adjustable by using a 1.5mm Allen key. The G connectors certainly have a nice weight and feel to them, and are not lacking in that magpie attracting shine either, as you will see. Now I did mention earlier that there is actually a larger version of these, and this is appropriately named the G connector long. This long version is ideal for growler and jar filling, whereas the smaller version is best suited for beer dispensing into glasses. These two models share the same body design and size, it is simply the screwing defoamers that are different sizes. Let us now take a look at how you will take one of these apart so that you can give it a good clean in an unconstructed state, and at the same time you can see all of the different components involved. Naturally I have sped up this footage quite considerably just so that you don't have to wait all the way through it. The last part that you see here is naturally for the flow control. This flow control method is very typical of the flow control seen on faucets before Nucatap. To use the G connector it is simply inserted into the ITAP's connection clamp as shown here, which as you can see is certainly fast and easy. Let's now have a look at a couple of different pours. This first pour is with beer that has been pretty highly carbonated at a level of 2.4 CO2 volumes. The beer is chilled to 5 degrees Celsius, which is the equivalent of 41 degrees Fahrenheit. I have set the pressure to one bar without any adjustment to flow control. I have kept this footage in real time to give you the full impression. If you look into the middle of the glass you will see how well carbonated this beer is. Here is a further example with me testing out the flow control. This particular footage has been increased in speed to simply not waste your time. This pour begins with more flow control at the start, which I then tweak down some during the pour. The range of the flow control is actually a little better than I expected. So if you prefer less head, then this can certainly be used as a standalone tweak, but naturally it has some natural limitations. There is certainly nothing to stop you adding on a flow control ball lock on the keg side to tweak further if desired, but I think this will be fine for most people. You will note that to the rear right of this beer glass there is a beaker which is collecting the overflow liquid. This beaker is 500 millilitres in size, so you can see that there are some potential losses here, but it is not much, and in this case it is mostly foam. No reason why you could not retain this and drink it of course, I certainly do. So here are my final words in relation to these products. I should imagine that designing such an add-on for a product like the ITAP provided some challenges in achieving a good pour. Construction using food grade brass along with a flow control system of part of this product's features certainly has provided something that is very viable that I do not believe will disappoint the average user by standard. For those that seek a very minimal head on a poured beer, I would suggest looking closer at your beer lines in terms of their length and temperature. Naturally the beer's temperature will also play a key role here, as well as the use of a flow control ball lock on the keg's end. 
Naturally, you can also tweak the level of carbonation in the keg as well as the serving pressure, just as you would within a regular kegerator setup for the optimum flow for your taste. I am certainly happy to recommend the smaller version of the G-Connector, but due to how my ITAP is set up, I was not able to test the long version. So as such, I am not able to verify how well this version works, but I strongly suspect that it works just as well, considering the Bowl Company's great track record so far. If you like what you see here, then please contact your local homebrew store first. If they cannot supply you, then these products can be purchased directly from the manufacturer in Russia. But please do realise that this will not be a super fast shipping, unless you live close by. Just in case you need the manufacturer's details, I will include them in the video's description. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing? For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group, and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store, as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!